Welcome back everybody, today we're here to talk about this new trailer we just got for The Walking Dead Season 10 Finale. This is pretty exciting because this is the first trailer we've gotten since March when the original trailer aired um, after episode 15. Uh, I mean, we did get an extended look at the opening minutes during Comic-Con, but again, there was, there was no trailer or anything like that at Comic-Con. So this is the first trailer we've gotten since then, which is kind of insane to think about. But tomorrow is September. We're basically one month away from the finale and then, you know, Walking Dead back with Fear to Walking Dead and the World Beyond. So it's pretty exciting. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of more teasers and images and stuff like that um, during September. So be sure to stay tuned for those by hitting that subscribe button. And also, I am going to be doing a Q&A pretty soon, so I made a post in the discussion uh, section of my channel if you want to go check it out um, and just leave a question or something like that. I'll be making a video later on this week, uh, so stay tuned for that. But with all that being said, let's get into this trailer. Alright, so I just have to give a warning and say that the quality isn't going to be that good because this wasn't posted on YouTube or anything like that. It was actually posted on Twitter. So I had to like zoom in um, because you know how Twitter, you know, it's not if, even if you full screen, it, it's going to look really bad because of the pixels or whatever. But so I had to like zoom in and, you know, uh, capture the images. So the quality is not that good. But I mean, it's still very noticeable. Like you can see what's happening. So no worries about that. But anyways, uh, the trailer opens up with this. It says the Walking Dead special event. So it looks like October 4th is going to be, there's sort of, uh, I mean, I know the season 10 finale was going to be a special event from the beginning, um, but it's also going to be the premiere date for the world beyond, which is pretty exciting. So immediately after the finale, we're getting the world beyond. Um, and I'm, I'm sure we're probably going to also get like talking Dead. So That's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool for Walking Dead fans. You know, we haven't really had anything for the past uh, six months. Um, or by the time the finale airs, it's going to be like almost seven months. Um, but, um, I mean, ex except Comic-Con, that was pretty cool. But I think it's going to be a pretty cool night, you know, with the Walking Dead Season 10 finale. We're finally going to be able to see that. And then the world beyond. I'm really excited for that. Really excited to see. Um, I might be more excited about that than the finale, to be honest. Because I think, I know, I, I know that sounds weird, but... I mean, this is just super excited. I'm really excited for the world beyond to see what kind of show it is. But anyways, this is the Walking Dead season 10 finale. Let's talk about that. Uh, so getting into the trailer, um, it opens up at that uh, that shot that we had of all the walkers surrounding uh, the hospital or the building they're at. So I love how they opened up with this shot. I mean, this was the scariest. This was also an extended opening minutes of season 10 finale. Uh, but it, it just puts into perspective how many walkers there actually are. It's insane. Um, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and read the voiceover right now from Daryl because uh, we don't have too much voiceover, just Daryl and Eugene. And what Daryl says is really, really important. He says, we're not all going to make it through, but this is the only way. So we've heard that for a while now that not everybody's going to make it. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? Like, it would just be weird and unrealistic if everybody survives. We've had characters do this in the past where they cover themselves in walker guts. And I mean, looking at this image, you know, again, like, look at how many walkers there are. Like, it would just be unrealistic if everybody makes it. Right now, my theory is that probably one major character will end up dying, and then there are a lot of other characters there, like secondary characters from the other communities, so we might see, like, one or two of them die. Um, but I think, like, the big death will be, like, probably one major character. So, again, you know, that's been up for discussion for the last several months. We're really close to finding out. Um, I honestly don't know who it is. Like, could it be Daryl? Could it be Carol? Could it be Gabriel? Could it be Negan? I feel like those four are, like, the most talked about, but we'll see. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. And in the second part, when Daryl's saying, but this is the only way, obviously he's referring to um, them covering themselves in walker guts and, you know, putting on whisper masks and just navigating through the herd. Um, but that is interesting when he says this is the only way, because it might not only, it might not be the only way, because who knows, I think maybe the CRM, or not the CRM, excuse me, the Commonwealth, well, maybe they are the CRM, I don't know, this shows, uh, this show is branching off to a whole new other world, so we can't, we will never know for sure, but the point is, Maggie's group is what we're calling them, which I'm thinking is the Commonwealth, um, I think they could come and help them. So maybe when Daryl says this is the only way, it probably isn't going to be the only, only way. But we'll, again, we'll see. I mean, we do know they are going to be navigating to the herd because we have images of them going out into the herd. So I'm sure some of them will be doing that. Um, but I still think the possibility of um, Maggie coming and helping them 
is possible. Um, but, you know, maybe she comes at the end and, you know, she isn't there for them in this moment, but at the final battle or something. Again, we'll see when it, what happens. You guys let me know what you think. We have this shot of Beta and then the shot of Daryl and then we have One Night Only. So, again, October 4th. Pretty excited. Uh, we have a shot of uh, Judith and Daryl. Remember, they're going out in groups. So not everybody will be going out together. Uh, we have a shot of Carol and Lydia. We have seen some of these before. Uh, like, we have seen this... Um, of Eugene and his group walking uh, or like riding bikes so they're doing their own mission meeting up with Stephanie remember that we'll see if that ties in with uh, this group or are they going to be doing their own thing maybe Maggie's connected with them you know because I would assume Maggie I mean yeah that's like a logical thing that Maggie probably would run into them first right and then maybe they find out that they're on them are in trouble and then help go help the remaining people that are stuck in the building something like that could happen who knows we have a shot of Kelly here putting on the whisper mask, a shot of Luke, and then a shot of Gabriel, uh, Judith, and uh, they're looking at, uh, I think there was like this door in the building that was like walkers were pressing up against it or something like that. But here we go into the new footage. Uh, we have a shot of Jerry here. Um, he looks like he might be uh, also covered in walker guts. I can't tell for sure, but I haven't seen Jerry too much um in these trailers so i forgot if he even was inside of that if he was in the building but i'm assuming everybody was in that building except you know eugene and his group so i think he was there and i think this is probably him um you know within the herd or somebody behind him or something but we'll see uh, we have a shot of daryl this is him trying to get inside the building uh we have a new shot of eugene and yumiko here eugene has taken some charge here which i really like in the first trailer um, he was almost like broken down because he was upset. I think they missed like the rendezvous point, he said. But here, uh, he's a lot more confident and he's saying that after all we hoped and all we went through, we're not turning back. So this is probably after that moment where they go and meet up or they go to that place where they're supposed to meet up with Stephanie, but they don't. Um, and then, you know, he's really upset, but then they don't give up and keep going. Well, we'll see. I have a feeling that maybe Maggie helps this group because it would make sense for Maggie to run into these people first, opposed to the whispers because they're surrounding, you know, the building, but we'll see. We'll see here. We have a shot of this is saying the whisper war final showdown, really excited. Um, I, th I think the whisper arc was really well done. I think it was perfectly paced. You know, it wasn't too long. Like the saviors were. Um, and I'm really happy with how they did the Whisper arc, and I'm pretty excited to see this end. Um, not saying like I, I want it to end, but like I'm just excited to see how it ends, and then moving on to the next group. We have this shot of a Whisper attacking, I believe this is Gabriel, so they're, it looks like they're actually going to be breaking inside of the building. Now remember, there's not as many Whispers as there are Walkers, so the Walkers, I'm sure they can deal with a lot better than the Whispers, because the Whispers have a mind of their own. Well, I guess the walkers also have a mind of their own. But the point is, like, the whispers can, you know, break locks and open doors and stuff like that. Uh, so it looks like, you know, because a lot of them are going to be waiting in this building for a while because they're going out in groups. So that's what I mean. Like, maybe some of them get out, but then later on, Maggie um, goes back and helps the rest of them who are stuck in there. So it's going to be pretty tricky for the ones who are stuck in there also because the whispers are going to be trying to break in and kill them. There's a lot of focus on Gabriel. I mean, I don't know. I, I really like Gabriel. I don't want to see him go. I, I think he's such, such great development throughout the seasons that I really don't want to see him go. But we'll see. Uh, we have a shot of Lydia, Carol. I can't tell who that is on her left. But it looks like they probably have escaped the herd of walkers because they're somewhere else now. Um, and there's, there's like no walkers around them. But it looks like they have their bows and arrows. And they're fighting some people. It could be walkers. It could be whispers. But the good thing is uh, we pretty much know now that these three are going to be making it. doesn't mean they make it throughout the episode, but they just make it out of the, uh, the entire walker herd over there. And then we have uh, some title cards that's saying the wait is over. Um, I'm really excited uh, because, yeah, I mean, we've been waiting for this for a while to see what happens. And it looks to be like one of their biggest episodes for a long time you know we have probably a major character dying we have maggie returning which is insane so it's a big episode and you know definitely a special event so i'm really excited for this one and then we have this shot of aaron fighting uh, a whisper we've seen this before in the other trailer and remember the person with the mask the mystery character is going to be coming them and helping them in, around this scene so i'm really excited for that as well 
Um, and then we have, again, this is a very blurry shot, but it looks like somebody here is fighting a whisper. So not all the, it looks like not, maybe not all the whispers went and attacked um, the building. Or even if maybe some of them did, they probably followed them out. Because if they escape, they're just going to follow them and they're probably going to have the final showdown somewhere else. But we'll see. And it's getting pretty cool over here. We have a shot of Lydia. You can tell there's really no walkers around her, but she still has those walker guts on her, so she probably escaped successfully. And in the trailer, it, make it, it makes it look like she is looking at Beta, like a Beta and uh, Lydia showdown, which I think would be pretty cool. And remember, Daryl, uh, you know, he's built a relationship with Lydia, so maybe if, if Beta's goal is to try to kill Lydia, Daryl could jump in in there. I mean, same thing with Negan. I could see Negan jumping in in there as well and helping out, but... Uh, the way this trailer is constructed makes it look like Lydia is facing uh, Beta here. I mean, it does look like they're in the same general location, so it could happen. And then we have this shot of Magna, which looks like straight up terrifying. Um, I mean, that's probably a walker behind her. Uh, it could be a mask, so it could be a whisper. But the point is, like, look at her face. She looks very scared. And fear typically doesn't do well in these situations like this. Like, remember back in Season 6 with Sam, he was scared and see what happened to his family. So... I don't know if this is telling us like Magnus about to get bit or something. I hope not. Um, but again, it could happen. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, I'll tell you that, because Magnus' group has been safe uh, since they got introduced. And for a long time, I was thinking that, you know, at least maybe one or two of them would end up, you know, dying to the whispers. Um, I thought maybe they would be in the Pike lineup or something. That didn't happen. So we'll see. I mean, again, they are fairly new. So, um,. Maybe they want to keep him around. But I would say that Magnus Group is slowly becoming like main characters, you know? And I wouldn't be surprised if I'm saying if that major death is, you know, someone like Magna. Because she is a leader of her own group, you know? She is becoming like a very main character. So I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but this image looks pretty terrifying. You know, you can see it in her face. And this walker is like literally right behind her. So we'll see what happens to her if she's going to make it or what. You guys let me know in the comments down below. And then we just have this last shot of the group uh, that we had before, uh, Eugene's group, um, trying to meet up with Stephanie. So, and then we have it ending here, The Walking Dead special event, October 4th. So there you guys go. Brand new trailer we got for the season 10 finale. Really excited. Um, really cool trailer. Uh, it gives us definitely some good hints about what's going to happen. Some interesting showdowns that's about to happen. So really cool trailer. So you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below about the trailer. If I missed anything, let me know what do you think is going to happen in this episode. Uh, leave them all in the comments down below. But as far as this video goes, I am going to wrap it up there. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And for more Walking Dead videos, I just be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching everybody. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys soon.